Hello students, welcome to my channel CNCR Science and Math Concepts. Today we are doing the question which is based on the topic of interference. The question here is derive an expression for the intensity at any point on the observation screen in Young's double slit experiment. Hence write the condition for constructive and destructive interference. Now we know that the interference depends upon superposition principle of two waves. So for that we consider first wave is equals to a1 sin omega t. a1 is the amplitude of first wave and second wave is equals to a2 sin omega t plus phi where phi is the phase difference and a2 is the amplitude of second wave. Then according to principle of superposition resultant wave will be given by y1 plus y2 which is equals to a1 sin omega t plus a2 sin omega t plus phi. Therefore y is equals to a1 sin omega t plus a2 sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Therefore y is equals to a1 sin omega t is also present in the second bracket. So I take it common. So a1 plus a2 cos phi sin omega t plus a2 sin phi cos omega t. Now here we consider a1 plus a2 cos phi is equals to a cos theta where capital A will be the amplitude of the resultant wave and a2 sin phi is equals to a sin theta. This is relation number 1 and this is relation number 2. Now we put these two values in the above equation. Therefore y will become that is the resultant wave will become y is equals to a cos theta sin omega t plus a sin theta cos omega t. Again using the trigonometric relation it will become a sin omega t plus theta. So this is the final resultant wave. Now here we are squaring and adding equation number 1 and 2 and 2 that is a square cos square theta plus a square sin square theta. This we are doing to get the condition for maxima and minima or we can say constructive and destructive way. This is a1 plus a2 cos phi whole square plus a2 sin phi whole square. So sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 therefore a square is equals to a1 square plus a2 square cos square phi plus 2a1 a2 cos phi plus a2 square sin square phi. Therefore a square is equals to a1 square a2 square I am taking common cos square phi plus sin square phi plus 2a1 a2 cos phi. Now sin square phi plus cos square phi is 1 therefore a square is equals to a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos phi. Now we know that intensity is directly proportional to square of amplitude. Therefore we can write 
instead of a square the intensity of resultant wave a1 square will be the intensity of first wave a2 square is the intensity of second wave plus 2 under root i1 i2 root cos phi it means since the intensity of wave 1 and wave 2 we have taken initially so they are constant so it means the intensity will depend upon cos phi that is the phase difference between the two waves on this basis now we will do for constructive and destructive interference so first we are doing for constructive constructive interference for constructive interference the intensity should be maximum and for con maximum intensity cos phi should be maximum that is equals to plus 1 and that is possible only when phi is equals to 0 2 pi 4 pi and so on or we can say phi is equals to 2 n pi now when there is a phase difference of 2 pi then path difference is equals to lambda and there is a phase difference of phi say the path difference is x therefore we can say that phi is equals to 2 pi x upon lambda or putting the value of phi here 2 pi x by lambda is equals to 2 n pi here 2 gets cancer pi gets cancer therefore lambda x is equals to n lambda so this is the condition for constructive interference now we solve for destructive interference Now again we now know that phi is equals to 2 pi x by lambda and for destructive the intensity should be minimum for that cos phi should be minimum that is minus 1 and that is possible only when phi is equals to pi 3 pi 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 and so on that means phi is equals to 2n minus 1 pi by 2. So now we solve for this we put the value of phi therefore 2 pi x by lambda is equals to 2n minus 1 pi. Now here we th see that pi gets cancel therefore x is equals to 2n minus 1 lambda by 2 so this is the condition for destructive interference hope you must have understood how to get these relations keep watching my other videos for more challenging questions for that do subscribe my channel thank you